Figure 2 shows part of the curve with equation y equals f of x. The curve passes through the point p minus 1.50 and q naught 5 as shown. On separate diagrams, sketch the curve with equation y equals modulus f of x, y equals f modulus of x, and y equals 2 f of 3x. So here's the question then. I've sketched uh, all these things and now we just need to superimpose the respective curves. So the first one then, this is f of x, so we want to sketch the modulus of f of x. So basically we just any negative f of x flips to positive. So the mirror image of these will go up here, won't it, like so. If I can draw that line a bit better than that, it will come up there in a mirror reflection through the OX line. That's a bit better. And then it will come down here, like so, won't it? Or we can get rid of the original curve that we used to draw it. So there's the curve then. And that's the shape of it. Okay, good. That's mod. Now, um, f modulus of x. So that's rather interesting, isn't it? How, what does that one look like? Now, we've got the crossing points here still the same, by the way, for this one here. And the touching points also, the q and the p are the same. So this one, f modulus of x. So for x positive, this is going to be the same, isn't it? like so. So that's going to come down identically because they're identical values. So I'll try and draw that line as close as I can. Okay, so that's f modulus x, because of, but these values here when it's negative. So, so for example, if we put minus 1.5 in here, we're going to get f of 1.5 Uh, f of 1.5, which would be probably over here somewhere. Right, so it's going to be a reflection of this, isn't it? Because basically, if you put minus 1.5 in, you'll get what you would should get from f when you put 1.5 in. So it's going to be a, a mirror image like so, isn't it? And that would be the curve there because there's no f of minus x's, so it's just a naught 5 and this point isn't a crossing point, so q is still a crossing point there. That's that one. Now we've got 2 times f of 3x. Okay, so here then these points will move now. First of all this one, to get that p, to get minus 1.5 in here we need 0 0.5 negative, don't we? So there's our minus 0.5 uh, 0 point there and we'll label it p dashed okay so it comes in that way and it comes in that way this point here because it's twice this one will stay there because it's twice naught this one because it's twice it's stretched up so the plot is stretched up to 10 isn't it so I'm actually although I'm not drawing it strictly to scale it's going to stretch up by a factor of 2 as well as squeezing up by a factor of 3 so it's going to look like if I can try and draw it a bit better than that it's going to come down here and then oops really badly drawn there I'll try again it's going to come down here and then it's going to turn and then it's going to go down like so quite steeply and it's going up oh it's going up a bit more actually because it's scaled up by a factor of two so it should go up there oops oops it's not very well drawn here but i'm trying to draw a line from about there like so very poorly drawn with the digital pen. And this is going to come down like so, of course. Okay, so that's okay for the sketch then. And this point here is now Q dashed, we could call it. And we said it was, instead of being 0 0.5, it would be 0 0.10, wouldn't it? 
Okay.